Another violent day in the nine-year-old battle between Nigeria security forces and Boko Haram. A familiar picture for people in the country's northeast. Witnesses say fighters struck the communities of Jimini and Baleshwari with bombs and guns under the cover of darkness. We only heard gunshots. We went out and saw Boko Haram with their bombs. People were running into each other and the bomb killed them. Emergency workers were deployed to the scene hours later and started the grim task of recovery. The suicide bomber came to Bale Shua, killed about 15 people there. Uh, they came to Bale Kura, killed three people there. Dozens of the injured ended up here. There are fears that some may succumb to the severe injuries they sustained during the attack. The army issued a statement saying it killed 13 attackers and that it lost one soldier. Although the government says Boko Haram has been defeated, its citizens continue to live in fear and pain. The government offered amnesty to the fighters. It's not certain if they will take it. A similar offer in the past failed to work. And it's even difficult now that Boko Haram is splintered and continues targeting isolated, vulnerable villages. As people in this region mourn their dead, they also wonder if and when the fighters will strike again. Ahmed Idris, Al Jazeera, Freetown, Sierra Leone.